Hey guys, welcome to Spartan Movie Night, where we are watching... Yes, welcome. The Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, a little disclaimer. When we first saw the trailers for The Amazing Spider-Man, we both were like, no. But eventually... No. 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 <laughs> eventually... I got to the point where I was like, okay, fine. So I borrowed it from uh, Joe, and I watched it. It was actually pretty good. The trailers were not very faithful to the movie. Bad marketing. Alex still hasn't seen it. It better be that way. And he still doesn't think it's going to be good. So tonight, I'm gonna, we're going to sit down. We're going to watch it. Maybe we'll get Joe to come on for the actual like review part of the show and have him talk about some. Um, but Alex... It won't be as bad as Graffiti Bridge. You see, that was just funny. Though. I mean... <laughs> it won't be as bad... You just made fun of that the entire time. That's why that was entertaining. It won't, it won't be as bad as... No, Heavyweights is a good movie. Heavyweights is awesome. We, we should tell him that. We should do that. We should do that sometime. If it happens, we're getting off topic, as usual. Who anyway, cares? We're going to get, eventually... Around to watching this what? thing. What? But okay, so we just got done watching it. He didn't, but he's seen it like ten times, so it's all good. And Joe, since we're gonna turn you up and move you closer to the camera. Okay, Joe. <laughs> since oh, no. since you're the guest, can. You're since you're the guest, can you tell me tell us if you like the movie, what's your favorite part, and what's your least favorite part? Well, before I go into that, never mind, I'll go straight into it anyway. The, my favorite part is, um, yeah, it's not actually, it's not, it's breaking up. The scene, it's like when you first get to the actual scene, just in the like first person shot of him going around the city. I just really like that, so that's my favorite part. It's really irrelevant, or, or not irrelevant, not, not relevant. But, uh, the part I didn't like oh, the whole rat, the lizard rat that made no sense. <laughs> the li that was my favorite part, <laughs> okay, Alex. That was awesome. We're gonna jump over to you. What was your favorite and least favorite part? Favorite part? The lizard rat. Henry. <laughs> what? Freddy. Henry. Oh, Henry. Alright, that's Freddy. his name. Freddy. I think Freddy. it's Henry. It's Freddy. I just watched this movie. It's a lizard rat. It's a Freddy. It was <laughs> Freddy and Walnut. It was Flintstones. Well, first off, did you like the movie? Yeah, it was alright. It was okay. Alex has been hating this movie for no... Hey, I watched it. You so can't say just anything. Because it's a different Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, no. I watched it. I judged it. Not based on the first one. I judged it based on a movie as itself. No, okay. for that. No. Just uh, up until the last no. two hours. So, what's... Okay, yeah. All right. Remember, we then can we... mute you. Uh, what's your and least... And we will. <laughs> what's your... Josephus. What's your least favorite part? Least favorite. I really wasn't a big fan of just Andrew Garfield. Like, what? What? I don't know, I just like him more than Tobey Maguire because he shows so much more emotion. We're not comparing. Oh, oh, really? I saw less, but... We are not comparing the two right. movies. All right. I'm talking to him. <laughs> um, okay, so I do like this movie. Um, I My favorite part would probably be the scene... In the when the car's hanging down from the bridge, and Spider-Man's oh, cool. giving Jack the kid up front it. Uh, when I saw that in the trailer, that was the first time that I thought this movie might not actually suck. And so yeah, I wasn't alone, Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wasn't alone. I just saw it before him. Um, my least favorite part, you know, I want to say the score because the score really sucked, but probably. Just the villain and... That's not a part. Yes, it is. The score is not a part. Where's the mute button? Uh, my... <laughs> my real... We could just, just exit. I can't turn the cat off. Uh, 
probably, but probably as much as the score is really distracting and awful, um, I would have to say probably my least favorite part is the villain's plot, which <laughs> is basically think about it's kind of like Magneto from the first X Men movie. Where, you know, Magneto's trying to turn all the people into mutants. This person's trying to turn them all into lizards. And I just don't think the villains set up very well. Everyone shall be lizards. And everyone shall Tell your friends. rise the above. Uh, <laughs> you were late. <laughs> Doesn't count. Um, okay, um, okay, so overall, generally, you didn't like Andrew Garfield. No, well, I mean, he was alright. I feel like... Maybe he could have done a better job, but he I was all right overall. He I won, liked him. I, in my terrible. Yes. My opinion. I enjoyed him because I feel like I feel like he got the duality right. Because when he was Spider Man, he was all like one liners and he was kind of like hiding behind the mask. But in real life, he was kind of nervous. If you go watch the movie Madness of this way back last year. Oh yeah, when you reviewed it. I explain all of this. He said in his review, he reviewed it because I didn't want to, so he, no. he reviewed it and he said that was like someone on the internet who's just hiding behind a username, and so they'll say stuff they usually don't say, or do stuff, except people on the internet can't, you know, turn into spiders. Um, okay, he doesn't turn into a spider either. I give it 15 years. I will mute you. Um, if you want to see someone turn into a spider, go see Spider-Man turn off the dark. Such a great movie. Which I think it's is... It's a play. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> play. I meant play. Which is the best version of the origin, bar none, even the comics. Come at me, nerds. You see, I still um, like that more than the first movie with Tony McGuire. Yeah, it's it's just so... Because you have DIY World in there, and it's all nice. Um, <laughs> and Freak Like Me needs to come No world are here right now. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm alone. I'm alone on this. Okay, so, um, other things, other points of interest. Costume. The costume was really good in this. Yeah. I like the costume. I thought you hated yeah, the costume. Up. No, I like the costume. Oh. I'm not crazy I mean, about the CGI. Is, is it really that much different? Yeah. I mean, the yeah, eyes are different. The colors are a lot darker, and they use sunglasses instead of just white patches. <laughs> Which I think the des I think the design Thank you, Joe. I think the design from the Sam Raimi films works too, but I think the transition between the CGI suit in that one and the CGI suit in this one goes better because this one's a bit darker, so you can shadow it more. So kind of the reason why the they the Batman suit in the first Batman looks so good it's because it's always in blackness. Um, darkness. 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 Bane. Bane. <laughs> Bane gives this movie a four out of five. It would get a five if Bane were in it. Anyway, sorry. Um, I, I like, I like a lot of stuff in this movie. I feel like Emma Stone is, I like, I like her more than Kristen Dunst. I'm sorry, Kristen I Dunst. I see the Kristen. Kristen Dunst is a good actress. Kirsten. Shut up. Uh, Kristen Dunst is a good actress, Kirsten. but Dunst. 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 But he's saying Kirsten. Anyway, Kirsten, Kirsten Dunst. Her name's Kirsten. Tay Dunst. She's a good Whatever. actress, but I feel like Mary Jane ran out of things to do really quickly in those movies. I think that, and I don't I think that be. Mary Jane is a bad can character. I think her from those movies isn't strong. I feel like Emma Stone is... A Sorry about that. So we were on Gwen Stacy. We were on Gwen oh, Stacy. Nice. Um, and yeah, she... Spoilers for the... If you haven't read the comics from the 80s. She might die. Um, and she will die. Maybe. We don't know you this. Will. They might... But we don't know this. Um... Martin Sheen was really good as Uncle Ben. His death was stupider. Yeah, I don't think they handled his... Well, we're not comparing. I don't. I didn't like Sally Field. And Fields. say great power comes great responsibility, even in the voicemail, which would have been the perfect opportunity. It would have been. Yeah, I didn't think that they made him as wise. 
as they should have. I think he's just a better... Wise Martin okay, Sheen. Not comparing yeah. not comparing it. I just think he's a really good actor. Um, I didn't like Sally Fields, although I never liked Sally Fields in she... anything. She was Aunt May. Oh, she was she was just Sally Fields. She 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 did nothing. She was Sally Fields. Was Sally Fields? Yeah, I I do not I did Sally not Fields. like her at all. Um, and I don't know. Overall, the movies I like the movie. It's fun. It's action filled. Okay, now we'll do a little bit of comparing to the first movie. Yay! Um, I'll go first. I think that this is a better movie than the first. Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Not the second. Not the third. Because the third is, is the greatest. The third is funny. <laughs> third is now a Spider-Man movie. Um, I like the third, by the way. Uh, but I think it's better. But I feel like the villain in the first one was stronger. I feel like Uncle uh, Uncle Ben's death was stronger. And Uncle I, Ben himself was stronger. Yeah, and you know... The score, of course, was awesome because that's part of the movie. And James oh. Franco's in it. And James Franco's awesome. This didn't have, This had a very high lacking of James Franco. What about you, Alex? Hmm. Um, I wonder why. Sass mouth. Sass. Uh, well, you basically said most of it. But I would say, I feel like Uncle Ben and Aunt May were more age-appropriate because... Yeah. They, in the first one, they looked like they were in their, what, like, 60s? 80s? 80s. Not 80s. They, they were older than I feel like old. they should have been for being his aunt and uncle. And so I feel like it would be more age-appropriate, like, towards the, towards his parents. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, that's interesting. It's, a, it's an observation I didn't make. Um, what about you, Joe, comparing it to the first one? Well, I do have some I do have some gripes about Andrew Garfield, even though I do like him more as a Spider-Man. Before he transitioned into getting the spider powers and whatnot, I do I did like the nerdy Tobey Maguire, Peter Parker more. That's because Tobey Maguire is perfect for playing nerds. I know. <laughs> Andrew Garfield would like they he was just he was the same both before and after and, and I don't know, I guess it worked for this movie but I liked it more in the old one. And what else did I like in the old one? Uh James Franco. James Franco is That's James Franco. I didn't really That's like him much in the first one though. But uh I'm gonna mute close it. No no That's don't even mute him, just close it. Oh god. I think the villain's a lot. The villain is not like the villain is really silly and over the top. But I love I love Defoe way more than the lizard dude because the lizard is a good actor. It's just his character is not good, and neither is the Green Goblin's. But the Green Goblin is at least funny. Yeah. Especially from Turn Off the Dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll about do it for us at least. Uh -huh. um, Unless you can think of anything more, Franco hater. Um, you didn't like him at all. Dang it, I had something. Oh, um, the whole revealing to Gwen. I thought that was really unnecessary. I like that. I like that more than uh, keeping it a secret. I also liked. I feel as though that would have been a good, good. Okay, I feel as though it would have happened. It would obviously have happened. Yeah. I don't think they should have just done it straight in the middle of the movie. I understand that. I think for story aspects it made sense. Plus, I'm tired of the the superhero having to keep his identity secret from the woman. I'm sorry. That's just me. But, you know, small problem, nitpick, you know. I, that's why I like how they did this one. But overall, any last thoughts? I can't yeah. wait for the second, third, and fourth one. Yeah? I can't wait. <laughs> I want to see a blue Jamie Foxx. Yeah, blue Jamie. Smurf Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in New York, see Turn Off the Dark. It's awesome. Unrelated, but true. As it's related. true. Yeah. It, it's related. It's the same topic. Guys, I think we all know how we should end this. I'm going to go watch Breaking Bad. And I will the wire. rise above. above.
Reach for the sky. Rock on, guys.